Hi guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. You are looking at a Stan Winston original Compsognathus sculpt. And now this would have been used for director approval and also would have been cast to make the actual puppets that you see on screen in The Lost World. So we're very honored to have this on the channel. Now today we're also gonna be doing uh, the Jurassic Collectibles Q&A where you got to ask me um, any questions that you wanted to. And uh, if you entered, you were up for winning this Brachiosaurus 4D puzzle from Tedco Toys. So thank you for Tedco Toys for donating this one to the channel. And an enormous thank you goes to Gavin at MyJurassicPark.com for helping us obtain this Stan Winston original Compsognathus, which we're going to use as the backdrop for today's Q&A. So first up, Chris Yip asks, what made you love Jurassic Park? Thanks, Chris, for entering your question. Um, so what made me love Jurassic Park? Well, at the time when Jurassic Park came out, I was at school, and we were actually studying dinosaurs at the time when the film came out. I think that timing was crucial because... Up until that point, I'd only been able to sort of imagine roughly what dinosaurs looked like. We had Ray Harryhausen films on TV, and, you know, that gave me a really nice colourful idea of what dinosaurs may look like. But we'd had nothing that was up to date and real, um, and that didn't look dated on television. So when Jurassic Park came out, suddenly everything I'd imagined was realised on the screen, and it was a real life-changing moment for me. So Brian Davis asks... What is your favourite Jurassic Park piece? And he even mentions that he's made a replica Jeep Wrangler from Jurassic Park. So that's really impressive, Brian, and thank you for your question. What is my favourite Jurassic Park piece? Well, in my collection, the fav my favourite piece is the Cryocan, the Embryo Cryocan, because I love the fact that that thing works and is spring-loaded, has a real weight to it, and looks exactly like the prop in the film. I think that's fantastic. Okay, moving on, Ryan Hack says... Would you like to see Dennis Nedry return to Jurassic Park? It's a good question, Ryan. I think not. <laughs> I like to think that he died in the first film because he was um, a bit of a villain. But what I've always thought would be interesting is if they brought back a relative of Nedry, maybe his brother avenging his death. And maybe it's not revealed till the end of the film that actually... Um, that's his lineage to the original film. I think that would be a cool twist, and I'm surprised they didn't do it already. So Corey Baker asks, what made you start your YouTube channel? So Corey, that's a great question. Thank you for asking. And um, I believe you recently won the last Brachiosaurus 4D puzzle uh, as a runner-up in our last giveaway. So well done on that. Um, what made me start my YouTube channel? You know what? It actually started as uh, on a bit of a whim. My, I just got the T-Rex, the red T-Rex. And I wanted to kind of share with friends that I, you know, picked it up and what it looked like because it was still in its box and everything and it brought back a lot of memories for me. So um, I made a short video and that's the very first one. It's still on the channel. You can go and have a look. And uh, yeah, I just didn't think it would become as popular as it did. And then as time went on, I thought, right, well, I'm going to, you know, keep doing this and putting up videos of stuff that I'm collecting. And uh, it seemed to get a very positive reaction. So that's how it started. Rafael Garrito asks, what is the ultimate JP prop you would like to have? That's a really good question, Rafael. Thank you for asking. From the film, uh, in terms of screen use props, I'd really like to own Alan Grant's Raptor Claw. Um, it's a symbol of his love for imagining and trying to conjure up in his head what these dinosaurs would have been like. And uh, when he sees them for real, it's kind of like his, his world is destroyed because everything he imagined has suddenly been burst. And I, I love that prop as well. It just looks great. It's a really nice fossilized claw. And lastly, the winning question goes to Samuel Lambert. Congratulations, Samuel Lambert. You have won the Brachiosaurus 4D puzzle. And his question was, what drove you to collect Jurassic Park memorabilia, love the film trilogy, and expand your collection to more than Jurassic Park merchandise? And actually... It's probably this channel. I think I probably wouldn't have gone as far in terms of my collection unless I had an audience to share it with. And that may sound really self-indulgent, but it's really nice to be able to share the things that you've picked up and the things that you love with others. And that's half the fun of films and things that you're passionate about, is being able to share it with your friends and family. And uh, I would say that you guys are like friends and family and it's been nice sharing it with you and taking this journey. So uh, thanks to everyone who does tune in every week and subscribes because uh, I really appreciate you watching. 
congratulations again to Samuel Lambert for winning. Um, if you could send your preferred shipping address in a personal message, I'll get this Brachiosaurus sent off to you as soon as humanly possible. Um, sorry to anyone whose question I didn't read out today. If you do have a real burning question, don't be afraid to leave it in the comments below, and I'll try and answer as many as I can. Okay, guys, see you in the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.